Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? Welcome to another car vlog and happy hump day. So let's get right to this. As the title states, free yourself. Free yourself, especially my ladies. Of course, the men are always welcome uh, to the blessed place, always welcome to listen, always welcome to glean whatever they can glean. Um, but I am especially encouraging the ladies of the blessed place to free yourself. And let me just tell you where this topic come from. I could not wait to make this car vlog today, you guys, because I was gonna, uh, okay, wait, let me go, I'm so, okay, Kusa. I was looking at my uh, comments, on my YouTube comments yesterday, and somebody made a comment on one of my videos, it's one of my, um, it is the most viewed video that I have, uh, maybe over 400 and some thousand views where okay it's nasty but it's popping zit it's a popping zit video well first of all when i first put out that video i was just um recording my family and doing what we do because that's just what we do and i had no idea that there was a genre of zit popping videos i didn't know that there was an audience i didn't know it was a thing um so when i put it out and i was wondering where i get all these views that's when i realized oh zit popping is a thing so that's why you might see a few zip popping videos here or there because I come to realize it's the thing. So somebody left a um, comment on that video because we're acting the fool, but we're acting, we're being us, <laughs> acting just like we act when we're always together. Um, and somebody left this message and say, they are just too old to be acting like that. Okay, that message just really made me hot but let me just tell you why didn't make me hot as in upset it didn't upset me at all i mean i even responded back lol <laughs> i responded back lol i'm sorry that your joy has age restriction but our joy does not have age restrictions so that's the way i responded back and i wanted to turn on the camera right then and and um share this with you all but i said no i'll wait and make it a car vlog so i was looking forward to waking up, going to work, and talking to you all about this. And saying, don't let anybody restrict you. I And this is, this is why I say it, I was hot when I read that. Because not hot for us, or mad for us, or, or felt in a way offended for what he said about us. Because we could care less. We do us. <laughs> but because so many people are imprisoned by those type of comments they are so imprisoned things that they want to do but they are confined by other people's opinions there are women who say they wish they could cut their hair but they don't know how they would look i understand that uh, before i did the big chop i was like for two years i wanted to cut my hair i wanted to cut my hair Finally, I did the big chop. Didn't know, I mean, I thought my head was too big, my face was too fat um, for me to cut my hair. Maybe I would look like a boy, um, but I just did it. Okay, then later on, I wanted to go blonde. And I asked my husband, what do you think about me going blonde? And how do you think it will look? And I didn't know if I could pull it off. But my husband said, you'll never know until you try it. And so I dyed my hair blonde. If there's so many things in our, our lives that we want to do. Some people want to start a business, but they don't think that maybe they don't have the business acumen or perhaps they think uh, their business idea is crazy and maybe nobody uh, will support it or people will laugh at it. I'm encouraging you. I don't care how, how minute you might think your idea is or how silly you may think it is or even if you think, well, other people are doing it or have done it and so many people are already successful at it, so how am I going to add any value um, to this type of um, job or creativity or career, or whatever? Don't let, free yourself, free yourself, uh, free yourself from those thoughts, 
Free yourself from those what ifs. Free yourself from what if people think about, what will people think about this? Free yourself from what if this doesn't look right? What if this doesn't come across right? Um, even in your, in your um, fashion, you, I'm learning to free myself in my fashion. Um, sometimes we think, well, this cut, I, I could never wear this. I would love to wear an off the shoulder shirt, but you know, but I have black marks, you know, especially us bigger um, ladies, heavier ladies or have heavier um, breasts or whatever. You may feel like, well, I wish I could wear, I could never wear a top like that because I'm too heavy up here. Or, or I wish I could wear a, you know, a shirt off the shoulder, but I got these black marks or I got these divots, you know, in my shoulder. Free yourself. Um, Free yourself, free yourself. You know, you might think, well, this pattern, I could never wear that pattern. You know, I could never wear flowers because I'm too heavy, or um, I could never do this because I'm too thin. I could never wear that because I'm too thin. Now, I do believe in, uh, of course, I believe in um, dressing um, moderately, you know, uh, but free yourself from all of these thoughts that I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that. Travel. There's somebody listening to me who wants to travel, but they feel like they're too heavy to travel. And, and this is also, this video is also a lot about my plus size girls, but it's not just plus size. It's for anybody. But um, in this particular portion, uh, my plus size ladies, sometimes, you know, you might say, I wish I could travel, but um, I'm going to need a seatbelt extension. So what? So what they, when they when them, when them people pass by when I just went to Canada in um in August but when the lady when the uh, stewardess I don't know if that's the right word the the PC word these days but when the stewardess um passed by I was like can I get a seatbelt extension oh sure <laughs> ain't no shame in my game you know so ladies there's some of you who don't want to travel but you say I don't know if I can do that because I'm too whatever I don't want to travel alone I mean get in some of these travel groups I love on Facebook I'm part of solo women's travel I don't solo travel but you talk about these women are inspirational um, I just joined a curvy woman travel group uh, because I like to just I like to see us big girls doing things so I'm a part of that group but join some groups of whatever it is that you're wanting to do whether it's about creativity whether it's about fashion whether it's about travel whether it's about just everyday living free yourselves you guys we are so restricted about what other people may think I wish I could change my hair color but what is it gonna look like or what people gonna think you never gonna know you never know until you try it um, I wish I could um, quit my job you know what you can quit your job. I mean, I'm not telling you. I mean, yes, you have to be responsible, especially when you have children and you have bills and all of that. You do have to be um, responsible. And I say somewhat responsible um, because sometimes in life, you got to take a risk. You got to take a risk at things. I retired at 43 and I took a big risk. I was making really good money and I took a big risk when I retired. But you know what? I was scared. I, there's a video. I, I can't even, I wish I could find it, but there's a video of me after I retired, maybe a few months after I retired, of me crying to my, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> but I took a big risk. But um, if, you might want to, you know, make a plan. If, if, you, if that job is making you miserable or it's not fulfilling to you, make you a plan and execute it. Free yourself. I cannot say it enough. Free yourself. I don't care if it's the smallest, most minute thing. Some, you know, you might want to wear red polish, and maybe you think that that, you know, you can't wear red polish. Free yourself and, and put on some red polish. Uh, you might wish that you could go somewhere and see snow. Maybe you've never seen snow. Free yourself, make a plan and, and fly somewhere and go see some snow. Maybe you've never been to the beach. Plan for the summer to, to take you a trip and go see the beach. Whatever it is. Yeah, don't let anybody give you restrictions. Don't let anybody tell you you're too young to do something or you're too old to do something or you're too fat to do something or you're too slim to do something or um, you don't look right if you wear this or... Um, or you're crazy because of your business idea. Maybe you quit that job that was making sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars, and now you're struggling in your own business. Um, 
free yourself of other people's ideologies and other people's restrictions on you. Um, break those chains. Break those chains of restrictions. And enjoy life, you guys. And I know I'm talking, I'm speaking from a 51-year-old wisdom. And so some of you are maybe in your 20s and your 30s and your 40s. Um, some of you are similar age as I am and some of my blessed ones are a little older. It does not matter what category of life you're in, which generation or uh, which period of time. There are some young people who are restricted by their peers and what their peers may say. There are uh, women in their you know, 20s and 30s who are just getting into knowing themselves and they're restricted by uh, what their friends, family, other peers may say or they're restricted by um, comparison. That's a big restriction and um, um, imprisonment, being restricted by comparison comparing ourselves and our lives to other people so you guys i just hope that this was an encouragement to someone it's even an encouragement to me because believe me i have not arrived um i'm still striving i'm still pressing toward the mark of the higher calling uh so uh, this message is also to myself deidre don't restrict yourself by your 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 weight your um, age, uh, because sometimes I think I'm 51 and whatever it is that I haven't done in life, oh well, it's too late because, you know, I'm 51, half my life is over, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Every day that we wake up and open our eyes, every day that we have breath, there is still time to do those things that we hold dear in our heart. Okay, you guys, love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And um, see you next car vlog or somewhere in the blessed place. Y'all be blessed. Oh, I'm sorry. I did want to ask. Please share with me. Is there anything that you feel restricted in your life that you want to do? I don't care if it's something as far as you wanted to wear this, you wanted to go here, you wanted to do this. Is there something that you feel restricted or imprisoned in your life that you would like to do? That's one question number one. And number two, have you ever had anybody to tell you? Or to restrict you. Anybody ever told you you to this or you to that to do something? I would love to hear that. All right, you guys. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.